All right, so today I'm gonna show you a build for uh, one of the more popular frames, and that is gonna be Mirage. And she is one of my personal favorites in this game. She is my second most used frame uh, before, you know, or after Wisp. In general, I do like playing her a lot, especially in these high level exterminate missions like the Zyreman and any Steel Path exterminate incursions. Really, really love using AoE weapons with her, as most of us do with her clones. And in general, I wanted to make her the best solo frame possible, because usually Mirage's biggest downside is her tankiness. She is uh, a glass cannon warframe. I think the biggest glass cannon warframe in this game, in my opinion. You really don't want to take almost any defensive mods whatsoever and just focus on doing damage. And today we are gonna do exactly that, but also be extremely tanky. So right here, we got a build that uses the Tau Forged Blue Archon Swords. I got my third one today to add to her as well, which gives us 225 armor uh, each. So, you know, all of them combined gives us 860 armor instead of her normal, I think it's 180, right? 185. <clears throat> and uh, this takes us to 74% damage reduction on its own. Null Star after that gives us 13 particles, which is 65% damage reduction, because its particle is 5%. And then we have Arcane Guardian for an extra 900, 900 armor on top of that. And... What these do all together is take us to around 90% damage reduction, which you may say, yeah, I mean, 90% is good, but it doesn't necessarily make you tanky enough to tank any shots. Like a Bombard Grenade in late game will not save you if you take direct health damage, you will go and die instantly. And I completely agree with that. So this is why we're going to use in this build. One of the OG strategies of tanking on the old support characters. So if you would go Limbo or Vauban back in the day when adaptation and some other forms of shield gating were in the thing yet, you would use quick thinking and prime flow. And these two mods would allow you to tank a bit more damage without losing any value from your build and focusing on making your ability stronger. And this is the idea behind this as well, but a lot of people consider this mod bad because if you take too much rapid damage, you get a stagger, and if you get a stagger, it pretty much is instant death. So this is where this build comes in. So I'm going to show you the wiki page for quick thinking to explain you what the idea behind this build is. So, you know, in quick thinking, you go down to 2 HP and then you start draining your energy. The important part, part for this build is right here, which notes the Warframe's armor and any sources of damage reduction will still reduce incoming damage and as such the amount of energy drain. And when you have three different sources of damage reduction from Null Star, Arcane Guardian and extra armor from the Arkansas, you can tank an extreme amount of damage. So to really visualize it to you, I'm gonna go on a mission in the void on Annie because there is no nullifiers and there is a higher chance for enemies to throw grenades in this mission. And since those grenades deal around 20 to 30,000 damage on base still path, depending on level, uh, so here around 28 to 30,000 damage, uh, you know, you can imagine how tanky this can be compared to a a late game bombard grenade. The bombard grenade is much much weaker than the grenades that are thrown by you know the butchers and all that. So I'm gonna just stand here at this energy pad because I forgot I should have started with max energy on this and just kill any of the enemies that are gonna come really close and tank whatever of the rest of the damage that I can. So I will take any grenades in the face like I did with that one and just kill only butchers in order to not lose my null stacks. So some of these nades will be tanked by the shield as you see my Kavat instantly gets down when it gets hit by one of these nades. And in my case I tanked it with a loss of 150 energy so now comes the second nade. 
which also gets tanks. Around 250 energy, and now we get a third nade, which is probably gonna kill us. No, we actually tanked it. So, you can see three nades in a row uh, from this is quite insane, in my opinion. Obviously, we ran out of energy, so we died, but for a good minute, and three nades taken in a row, and quite a lot of enemies hitting at, at the same time, including the corrupted crewmen, which tend to deal a lot of damage, and I could still survive relatively easy. So, you can clearly tell by this how tanky this can be, and how hard it will be for you to die. You can go up to 4 digits steel path solo and tank quite fine without needing, uh, without like being afraid of enemies. And you know, when you play this Warframe, you see bombards and nullifiers and you just run the hell away. You you cannot do anything to to bombards and nullifiers. If you get hit by one of their projectiles by accident, you will just get one shotted. And this build fixes exactly that. And as you saw, we didn't get any staggers whatsoever because the stagger only happens if you take too much rapid damage while using quick thinking. Here, even with the nade that deals 30,000 damage, we did not get any staggers. So by abusing this, you still, as you can clearly see, retain the damage that you would do as Mirage. <laughs> Obviously, it only based on strength, how much damage you deal with the sword frame. And we can just become absurdly tanky with this combination. It is great. And I think more people should uh, give it a try and make it their base when they try to go for a high level or endless uh, steel path mission like a survival. And yeah, this is kind of the idea behind it.